Alrighty guys, today in this video I'm going to do something a little different and if you don't care, then I don't care if you don't care because I wanted to do it and I know some people um, would be interested in this kind of thing because I am and so I'm going to show you the sales brochure and I'm going to, or I'm going to show you the tw um, 2010 sales brochure of the car and then I'm going to compare it to the 2013 and then I also have the window sticker to my car which I was really excited that um, when the owner, well, the person we bought it from, told me that she still had it. Because she mailed this to me and she mailed like all the delivery information. She basically had everything. So first we're going to look at the window sticker. Sorry for that little interruption. But as you can see, it is a 2010 Cube Chrome. And when the Cube first came out, they called it the Cube Mobile Device. I don't know what that's about. That's just what... That's just what um, Nissan did. So let's go ahead and look at mechanics. As you can see, 1.8 liter double overhead cam, four cylinder engine, 122 horsepower, 127 pound feet of torque, all that kind of stuff. Um, six way manual driver's seat, four way manual passenger seat, leather up steering wheel, all this stuff. Okay. And let's see right here. So the base price is twenty thousand one hundred and twenty, and then the optional inc optional equipment included by the manufacturer to make it a chrome package is the interior design package for two hundred and thirty dollars, rear cargo organizer for one hundred and eighty, vehicle alarm sensor for a hundred dollars, and then the chrome addition package is included, and that that carries all of this equipment which you can pause and read it if you wish. And then I do have the illuminated kick plates that are made of stainless steel. Destination of 720 So that gives me a total price of $21,590. Um, at the time, that's about the price of a Honda Civic EX. So, you know, she didn't get the cube because it was cheap. She got the cube because she wanted the cube, which I respect that. So, looking at the fuel economy, as you can see, it's pretty bad, 27, 31. Um, the city's not bad, but the highway's pretty bad, and that's a combined um, fuel economy rating of 29, which that's about what I average. Um, coming to your safety ratings, all good stuff. And then, as you can see, this one was at um, Simmons Nissan in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Um, assembly was in Norfolk, Virginia, um, interior or exterior color was pearl white and interior was black. So let's go ahead and move on to the sales brochures. As you can see, this is the 2010 version of the sales brochure. So we, actually this was a Christmas present from my parents because I really wanted this and I contacted Nissan to see if they had any left and they didn't. So, as you can see, this page, and then it says, or it basically explains that the front end is designed a bulldog wearing sunglasses. It says all the color choices. Moss green isn't available anymore. Caribbean blue was um, replaced with Bally Blue Pearl. Um, bitter chocolate is not available anymore. So a bunch of these are um, pretty rare. And if you notice on all the little cars, the license plate says um, asymmetry because the car is asymmetrical. So coming in here, I know this page is still in the 2013 one. It talks about all the waves in the car. Um, it says this zone is this is a zone where loitering is encouraged upload yourself and four friends to go or stay wrapped in a funky fabric every seat features a sofa like comfort inviting everyone to hang out the rear seats slide recline and raise and are raised up slightly higher like a theater giving passengers a better view of the road stuff like that then as you can see all the um personalizable options you can do. You can have um, personalized interior accents, but see, the chrome models come with like the fake carbon fiber, which that's my favorite. If I got the um, 
if I got a regular clue cube with black interior, I would get the white pearl accents or I would get the, the chrome. And see, you can get the ripple hooks to replace these right here. That was a kid screaming, I'm sorry. And then as you can see, the interior lighting package, which um, my car has, gives you 21 different colors. As you can see, the dash topper up there and the door bungees. I have those, um, all the colors down there. Um, it talks about more accessories you can get, the little um, sunglasses holder I have, the rear cargo organizer I have, all that stuff. Talks about how safe it is, um, backup camera and all that kind of stuff. It talks about technology, it has push button start, Bluetooth, MP3 capability. And one thing I thought was funny was it says the moon and earth together forever. The multicolored gauges light up in gray for the tachometer and blue for the speedometer. A bit of c celestial? I don't know. That's both unique and great for visibility. So as you can see the gauges, the, the blue and the gray for the moon and the earth. I don't know what that is. that's about. And then it talks about the Fosgate, Rockford Fosgate sound system. Talks about all the airbags it has. And then this is the um, the page that's no longer in the 2013 sales brochure. This is the chrome. It talks about unique on it on the inside too. Talks about how it comes fully loaded with this special cloth. And then it says giving an edgy giving edgy a new edge. I thought that was funny. Um and then you have a little fold out thing which tells you all the features available and which models. And see back in 2010, 2000 or 2009, 2010 and 2011, there was actually a cube base and that was the 1.8 and now from 2012 and up, it's the base model is the 1.8S, which that gives you um, Bluetooth, leather wrap steering wheel, and stuff like that. This was um, a pretty bad car. I, I really would not recommend it. It didn't even come with cruise control. So as you can see right here, you can add all the exterior aero kits, um, aftermarket wheels, which I really like. So, um, you can order them in a dark finish which always looked really nice. You can add a custom grill, as you can see by that picture, with a checkerboard pattern. And then you can see all the cloth options you can pick from. And then right here, you can see it has all the Nissan models on the back. So, yeah. Um, the 2013, it's basically the same. I'll give you a quick rundown. This cube is a different color. Um, this page is still in there. This is still in there. This is still in there, but as you can see, they updated it because the 2010 didn't have a navigation system. It just had this head unit. And see, the um, the 2013, which is this is the brochure for it, has the navigation head unit. Looking here, this is a different page. I think this page replaced the one where it talked about ad friends and stuff like that. And then you have all the different accents that it talked about. Cargo space, which the other one I had. And then as you can see, this one talks about the technology and it has the, um, talks about the GPS head unit, which wasn't available. And all that kind of stuff. And then this is a new page, 2731 MPG. The feeling of making friends with the planet. The 2013 Cube wears the Pure Drive badge, meaning it meets or exceeds the ind um, industry average U.S. federal standards for model year 2016. Then it talks about C and B seen, easy to park, talks about airbags and safety. Then I like this page a lot better than the other accessory guide. It shows you more in depth about um, all that stuff you can add, like the aero kit right here, or the spoiler or the dark finish wheels that I like. Um, cargo cover, just stuff like that. And then as you can see, it goes. It's a rundown of the packages: the S, the SL, and then the SL was prefer preferred package, which adds fog lights and navigation and stuff. 
Um, and then you have a little fold out here and it shows you the different cloth materials and stuff like that. And then you have the different colors. See, there's Bali Blue Pearl that I was talking about. Um, cayenne Red, Pearl White, which replaced a white pearl in the previous cube. So, yes. Um, that's basically it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Hi, Phyllis. You just had to come over here when I was finished with the video. What are you doing? You want me to rub you. That's what you're doing. Get out of here. Get out of here.